Hello lovelies! Welcome to Pagecraft. I'm Paige and this is the monthly check-in for May. We're already in May. Goodness me. Yes. Okay, but this is where I'm going to tell you about how April went for me, uh, diamond painting wise and crafting wise. And I'll tell you a bit about how I'm doing as far as my goals for the year uh, are concerned. And I'll also share a bit about my plans for the month to come. Okay, so if you are brand new here, uh, the main things that I have going on my channel at the moment um, are that I aim to reduce or uh, be moderate in my purchases. So I have set a limit for myself to uh, two diamond paintings a month, max, max. Um, and I also have a slash the whips kind of a situation going where um, I found myself in a whippy situation last year. Uh, I have 12 whips from last year that's that are still going um, or I had rather. My goal is to finish at least five of them this year. I'm only one down but I am well working on two more of them as we speak. Okay, so we have the reduce my number of whips goal, we have the moderation goal, and um, the last one is my giant toadstool cut project that I will mention in just a bit. Uh, but yes, we can start off with uh, how I did as far as purchases go. And I actually did quite good in April. I purchased a pen, diamond painting pen. And I don't count that towards any kind of uh, diamond painting limit, but it is rare for me to buy pens, so I want to mention it. Uh, so there is a kind of unbagging of it on my channel if you're curious about that pen, but I managed to snag that over easier and I'm very happy with it. So, yes. And as far as diamond paintings are concerned, I uh, stuck to my limit of two and I did buy two. They were both from Diamond Art Club. They got me again. <laughs> uh, I bought the last uh, level mystery kit. And I also bought Mjölnar from Anne Stokes. Because uh, dragons and Norse mythology. If you're new here, hello, welcome. Uh, I'm Paige and I'm Norwegian. So uh, Norse mythology has a place in my heart. And I also just love dragons, so I had to have that one, actually. <clears throat> but I did stick to my limit. And we are in a new month now, and there are new opportunities if I choose to grab them. So that was uh, how I'm doing as far as purchases go. I'm actually quite happy that I've managed to stick to my limit, because... Like a lot of you know, some of you are blessed with uh, self-control, <laughs> but uh, a lot of us do enjoy collecting things and uh, saying no can be a bit difficult. So I'm very happy that I have managed to stick to my limit so far. Um, but moving on to the diamond painting itself in April, we actually have a finish. It's a small one, but it's a lovely one. So... Uh, the one I'm referring to is our daisy friend right here. Now this is my first diamond dots kit ever. And I both started and finished this over Easter holiday. Uh, there is a separate finish and review on the channel if you're curious. But that is a finish. And I don't really get finishes every month. At least up until now. So absolutely worth celebrating and uh, it was a lovely experience but again there's more in the finish and review if you're curious about it but here it is so as i said initially uh when it comes to my whip goals finishing my whips goal uh, i am working on two of my older whips and they are continuing from april into may uh, April didn't kick my butt as badly as March did, but April still had the Easter vacation where I didn't get a lot of anything done. And in addition, things have ramped up quite significantly at work. 
so April um, didn't have as much crafting time in it as one could have hoped. But I still got something done. And one of the whips that are going to stay with me, you will have seen last month, and it is our Easter Bunny basket. I put my arms in this arms arm in this washi, and it now it won't stay down. But it's not the company's fault. Anyways, uh, Easter Bunny basket. Uh, we are firmly heading out of Easter season, but that's okay. I am so in love with the colors in this kit really enjoying it uh, and I should be getting some more time but regardless if I finish this this month uh, and I'll get into why I won't maybe won't be able to finish it this one <laughs> this month in just a bit um, but regardless if I finish it or not I will not put it away until it's done I promised that last monthly check-in and I'm still uh, holding on to that promise uh, I'm not going to start anything new until this is done. But that leads us uh, to the second to last whip that will follow us into May. And that is the Josephine Wall Mystery Kit. And it is right over there. But I'm not going to show it to you because I'm, I want to be mindful of spoilers for anyone who has this in their stash. Uh, but... Um, I am participating in the Josephine Wall Diamond Painting Along with that kit and uh, I am doubling down on finishing my uh, 30 by 40 square for that event. So that will take priority over this kit, which is such a fortunate position to be in because I, I, I am absolutely adoring both kits. Um, and I'm kind of hooked on the mystery kit at the moment, so <laughs> uh, it, uh, it's very promising as far as me being able to finish that square. Once that's done, I am going to pick this up again. So that is a lot of talking about my whips. I do have a third whip, and yes, if you're thinking, goodness me, Paige, that's a lot. Yes, it is a lot. I completely agree. It is a bit too much, but... I need to stick to my guns. I'm not putting any, I said last month, I'm not putting this away or my mystery kit away until it's done. And I'm going to keep that promise. The last uh, whip is my Toastal Cottage project. And a lot of you are familiar with that series that I have going. Um, it, but for those of you who are new here, a Toastal Cottage is a 90 by 135 centimeter round drill canvas from Diamond Painting Shop. Uh, I'll uh, put in a bit of footage from my latest update for you. Um, but basically, uh, it's a giant project that I have dedicated this year to completing. And I do updates on that project uh, every second week. And uh, both April and March I kind of kicked my butt a little bit, so I'm a bit behind, but we can still do it. We can still make it, basically. But if you are curious about that, uh, there is a separate playlist on that whole project. So I'll link that below for you if you want to check it out further. Ah, so yes, that's a lot of talking. Um, and uh, we have kind of touched upon May already because our whips are going to follow us into me but but uh, I have another goal for me um, that I will hopefully get done next week uh, I recently unboxed version 2 of Time Advisor uh, by Lo Felipon and Oraloa and the version 1 is one of my whips uh, from last year that counts towards my goal of, of finishing uh, five of them and I uh, put up a poll on my community page on how you want to see me solve this situation since I have an updated version of that kit and you really wanted a comparison series and I have listened and I'm going to make that a priority uh, the first step will be for me to uh, film that um, 
comparison of the canvas and drills and such that I talked about in the unboxing. And that is what I hope to get done next week. So stay tuned for that. I am so excited about it. So I hope you want to follow along in all the nerdy goodness. And as far as the comparison series itself, I'm just teasing that a little bit right now because um, uh, work needs to calm down a bit and I'm not starting anything until this is done. But um, I can tell you that there will be a comparison series and it will start this summer. Yes. Very excited. Uh, and uh, yeah, I hope a lot of you want to follow along. It will be my first time doing a comparison. And the more I'm looking at those two versions, the more like fascinated I am. So yes, I hope you want to follow along on that one. And stay tuned for the initial video next week. <sighs> yes, that actually brings us quite close to wrapping up this check-in. Uh, but there is one thing that I want to show you and mention now towards the end. Um, there is a video of this on my channel as well, but I want to show you my first cross stitch. Yes, I have, in addition to everything else, started cross stitching. And this is my very, very, very first uh, printed canvas ever. The, there is an unbagging of this. It's from Aura Loa. Uh, same as uh, the Time Advisor uh, canvases. Um, and I want to show you a simple clarity because someone asked for that. Just briefly. Not the best of images. And here is my progress. <laughs> I've only had a few sessions, but I have quickly realized that this will probably take me the rest of the year to do. That is completely fine. This isn't really a cross this. <coughs> I have quickly realized that this will probably take me the rest of the year to do, but that's completely fine. This is a very like chilled kind of side project that I have going. I very much enjoy doing it, doing it or working on it um, while I'm sat on the couch or like if I'm waiting my turn on some kind of game on the computer. Um, yes, so. I do it at a moments when I wouldn't be them in painting anyways. And I'm enjoying it a whole lot and I'm very excited to see how it will turn out. And I really wanted to just mention it because, you know, it's my first stamped cross stitch ever. And it's a bit of a, you know, milestone or happening for me to have picked this up in April. But yes, that does truly conclude this monthly check-in. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me and, you know, taking uh, time to hear how things are going over here in, on PageCraft. Um, let me know how you are doing, what your plans are for the month. I love hanging out in the comments, so please, uh, you know, drop by if you want to. If you haven't subscribed already, you can consider doing so if you're interested in any of the things I have going on at the moment. Um, and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up before you head out because that does uh, tell YouTube to show this video to more people and that helps a lot. Um, but regardless of all of that, uh, thank you so much for watching again and until next time, I wish you well and happy crafting. Bye bye.